I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the Hierophant. And it's with the Ace of Wands. Now the Hierophant is actually a card that could be about searching for the meaning of life. Being a great loyal friend. When you're called on for advice or help with some important matters. Your intelligence and empathy puts you in a position, put you in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you or someone that you know or someone that's coming towards you. Yeah, this person would be quick witted, well educated well educated. A wise teacher marked by integrity. Yeah, the Hierophant, they're the real deal. A genuine article, a true blue. They're highly admired individuals. They walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. And when it comes to love and relationships, if you're asking a question about how your current partner is feeling and you get the Hierophant, just know that they love you very deeply and it's a love that cannot be broken. Now it's with the Ace of Wands, which is indicating new beginnings, very positive ones. The Wands, they're in the realm, they're in the area of accomplishments and they could be related to work, career, or family romance. And if you're having a difficult time, just know that things are about to get better very soon. Yeah, very soon. And I say very soon because if you take a look at the Ace of Wands, it's the card below the word pass. Yeah, it looks like this wand is sitting above the clouds, but no, it's not sitting there. It actually burst really powerful and fast. Right above the clouds. So, like I said, if you're having a difficult time and you get the Ace of Wands, just know things are about to get better very soon. This card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future. You could start to feel really energetic, very positive, or you'll be feeling that way soon. The Ace tells you, that now is a good time to start something new. So the reason past energy for you and your person, Capricorn, the Hierophant, clarified by this Ace of Wands. So what I'm getting, what I'm picking up is that for a lot of you, Capricorns, It looks like, yeah, it looks like you got some type of new beginning you could be working towards or some type of new beginning you're trying to get started. Some type of new beginning is trying to happen for you. That's the recent past energy between you and your person. And you feel that it's, it's something that's true. You feel that it, it's really good for you. Because there's nothing bad about the Hierophant. Everything is moral. Everything is ethical. And it's even traditional if that's what you're into. So yeah, you're trying to get something off the ground or you've got some new connection. Or something very, something you could be really passionate about or someone could be feeling this way about you. And you or them, or maybe the both of you, feel that it's right, it's the real deal, and it just feels, it feels perfect, it feels really good, like there's no games being played, there's no secrets, 
um, yeah, some type of new beginning is trying to happen for you like this. And if it's not a person, it could be a situation. If it's a person and you got the higher fin, like I said, um, there's a very deep love here. And it's a love that cannot be broken. And that's what you're trying to go towards. That's what the new beginning has to do with for a lot of you. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Ace of Swords and it's with the Two of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Swords, it can actually indicate a new beginning in some area of your life, some area, which is another new beginning. Could be on several fronts when you get the Ace of Swords. Sometimes this new beginning, it gets started by a separation of some kind, maybe a relationship, could be from a situation, a job, a neighborhood. Just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is actually really good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go. Now, the Ace of Swords is with the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles can be two main issues at front in your mind, so you might need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Because multitasking is not your friend. Not at this time. So you might need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced. So you want to be sure that you're paying attention there. So Capricorn, coming up for you and your person, Ace of Swords, clarified by this Two of Pentacles. So there's something going on in your life that you feel like you need to cut. You need to cut it. And you've got two powerful new beginnings here. So you know that if you don't cut it, it's going to mess up your new beginnings. One of the things that you realize that you might need to cut is um, maybe are you really busy? Do you do a lot of multitasking? Because the Two of Pentacles is a lot of juggling back and forth. I don't know, is your person long distance and you're over there and then you're over here and then you're over there and then you're over here. Something, some type of, some type of craziness is going on with this Two of Pentacles. And it's, it's causing your person that you're trying to have this new beginning with, it's causing them to think that you're finding trouble and time and energy for them. Which can be a problem. Because to make sure that the relationship remains high on the priority list, yeah, you might you might have to cut back. Because when you get the two of pinnacles, if you don't cut back, then the relationship it may not be there for you when you come back. So, I don't know what it is, but there's some type of craziness going on. Juggling. Multitasking. Just doing too much. It's saying it's unhealthy for your connection. Maybe your person feels left out or something. And it's saying you need to cut it. And then that's when you're going to get to new beginnings. If it's not a lot of multitasking, it's something else that you need to cut out. And it's the only way that you're going to get this, these great new beginnings with your person. Because you got two wonderful new beginning cards here for you and your person. So we move on over and we take a look at the challenge. We got the King of Swords ends with the Eight of Swords. So the King of Swords can stand for a very powerful, opinionated, forceful individual. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. He could go either way. 
You could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, especially if this card is not representing an actual man in your life. So, you might need to consider the feelings of others before you act, because the King of Swords, it can point to a very, very forceful type of energy. So, you may not be able to get this man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So you might need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or expectations. But don't overextend your reach. King of Swords is with the Eight of Swords. Now with this card, you could feel like you're holding yourself back because you're afraid to move into the future. Or because you're... Well, you're wary. You could be wary of getting hurt by a new situation. Or for me, or maybe for no reason at all. So you might need to think through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations, they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So what I'm getting for you Capricorn... You and your person, King of Swords and Eight of Swords, is what it's clarified by. Yeah, so there's somebody that's in your world that's not very, not very nice to you. King of Swords is someone that's that could um, be the type that would that would overstep their bounds. They could be stereotypically manly. This person, without a doubt, they will mistreat you. They're over-opinionated. And, um, yeah, forceful. They could be very arrogant type. Um, yeah, this King of Swords... It's, it can be all about them sometimes. Not thinking about what you might want or need. Somebody's in your world like this. It's definitely not the Hierophant. Definitely not. Yeah, so I don't know if this is a parent or some other, some other family member. Maybe a co-worker. Maybe a mother-in-law or a father-in-law. Somebody is very... Someone is really not nice to you. Put it that way. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. They do things to push your buttons. Very, very unhealthy energy that you're dealing with. Yeah, and what this person, what they do to you is they put you in a mental prison. Yeah, a lot of times... It causes you to be stuck in your head about them or about the situation. And so it causes you to be afraid to move forward, whether you know it or not. Because if you look at the Eight of Swords, you see this man, he's caged himself in with all these swords. There's a hot fire behind him. And on top of that, there's a huge bull right behind him there is actually an opening right in front of him so he could actually put one foot in front of the other and run but he's just stuck in his head and it could be for no reason at all because like I said he could put one foot in front of the other and run so whoever this mean person is to you they kind of got you, they got you kind of like stuck. Yeah, like I said, you could feel like you're in some type of mental prison, because that's what the Eight of Swords can be about. Or you can just feel like, you may, do you feel paralyzed? Something, you just, like you feel like this Eight of Swords, like you can't. You can't progress. You can't go forward. You just gotta stay where you are. Stay put. 
yeah, so, like I said, maybe this is, um, your person's, uh, relative that's just not happy with them moving forward with you, family interfering, that's, that's trying to make things difficult for you, somebody's trying to make your life very difficult, put it that way, king of swords can be a narcissist, so if you know anyone like this that you're connected to, this could be them, and maybe they're doing things behind your back and you don't know it, but you kind of sense it, yes, yeah, some type of negative energy is going on here, you feel it though, if you don't know it, you feel it, because your mind is telling you, your mind is trying to trick you into not moving forward. And you've got so many great new beginnings. And then it looks like you distract yourself from these great new beginnings by staying busy. Or just doing too much and it's making progression stop or either slow down. And that's why you got this huge ace of swords here. It's saying you just need to cut it. Point blank. Just stick a fork in it and stop it, whatever it is. Maybe it's this narcissist that's trying to make your life living hell. Because you got someone true over there that really wants to be with you and want a new beginning. But it seems like it can't happen because you got this, you got a troll on your back. Yeah, that's what you got a troll on your back. So we move on over and we take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got Justice and we got the Fool card. Now Justice actually deals with the idea of karma, the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. This can be sometimes difficult and demanding as it is when we're going up against something that's completely of your own making. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you're directly involved in a court case, when you get the justice card, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. Now, justice is with the fool card. The fool card is an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. Children, they're trusting. Trust, it actually forms the basis of meaning for this card. And this is considered to be a positive card. But there could be one thing. It's important to make sure that you're looking where you're going. Because if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, as you can see, that's what he's doing. Yeah, if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. Yeah, because the full card is the card below the word outcome. It could be a big mistake because he's about to actually land right into the Pacific Ocean. Because what's below him, that's all blue water. Looks like the Atlantic Ocean. Some type of ocean that goes on forever. So, what we got for this outcome justice clarified by the fool. Yeah, so... Like I said, what, I, what I'm getting is, um, for a lot of you, I don't know who, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out who this person is, but there's so many of you out there listening. Only, I guess only you know who, who this person is. This uh, King of Swords. Someone. Anyway. Something something takes place. Something is happening here. With this person that's not treating you right. Because you got the justice card. 
And a justice card, it can be about things coming to light. You're getting some clarity. The truth has finally come out. It's about feeling like justice has been served. So, yeah, I don't know. I know that my Capricorns out there, you're not wishing anyone any ill will. You're not wishing anything bad to happen to anyone, not my Capricorns. But it looks like your person who's causing you hell and not and making it hard for you to move forward towards your great new beginnings and this great love that you got here with the Hierophant. It looks like they... Look, I'm not wishing any ill will on anyone either, but the Fool card, he, he takes a leap of faith. He just jumps right in. The fool card is a risk taker. They take a leap. They just go for it. And a lot of times it's without thinking. So somebody is doing this. It could be the king of swords. He's taking a leap. And bam. Okay. So. You feel like justice has been served. Yeah. This person got back what they gave to you that's what it's showing I'm not saying that something bad happened to them but justice, justice is about getting back what you give out it's called karma and if you people are not familiar with the word karma it's about things that you put out to people Things that you put out to the universe, it all comes back to you. Some people say it comes back to you three times as big. Some people say it comes back to you ten times as big. Well, we got the fool card here. So, that's what it's showing. Somebody's getting paid back for all the... All the the dirt that they dished onto you. And it's got to be the King of Swords. This person who mistreated you. And was very forceful towards you. Very nasty towards you. So. Yeah. So. It looks like they're this fool. Just walking off of a cliff. I don't know. That sounds. You know what, I'm just reading the cards. I'm not wishing any ill will on anybody, but this is what's showing in the cards. And I know all my Capricorns are not wishing any ill will on anyone either. No, we don't do that here because when you do that, it'll come right back to you. The karma that you put on someone else, like they put bad karma onto them because of the way they treated you. You don't want to wish ill will on them because it'll come back to you. So, anyway, that's what fell out the deck for you. Okay, so let me recap this reading because I don't want you guys to get it twisted. I didn't create this spread. It fell out that way and I placed them, I placed the cards down blindfoldedly. Yeah, I don't position them. But anyway. Yeah, Capricorn, you got some new beginning here. It's it's trying to be stopped by someone. This King of Swords. That's what I'm getting. They're treating you like... They're treating you really bad. This King of Swords, I don't know who it is. Treating you really bad. You're trying to go to your true blue, your genuine article, the Hierophant. There's some type of great new beginnings trying to happen for you. But this King of Swords is making it really hard. So, you make yourself really busy. Trying to make like think nothing's going on, but it is. Because you got somebody that's trying to ruin your life here. And it's causing you a lot of times to be stuck. And you can't, you can't move into the future. And 
this justice in the full card is saying that justice will be served. It will be served. It's saying you it's saying this person takes a leap of faith. They just jump right into something. Maybe they jump right into Maybe if this person needs a spouse, and they jump right on into someone. So they got a partner now. Yeah, they got a partner now, so they don't have to interfere in your life. So this, yeah, this is what we're going to say, because we don't like to wish ill will on people. So this person who mistreated you, they found somebody new. They got a love now, so... They're jumping right on into a new life. Because a full card can be about new. A new beginning. So they're jumping right on in. To a new life with someone. So they don't have time. To meddle into your life. Okay. But what they jump right on into. It could be. Causing them. Causing them hell. And you maybe you found out about it. Now you feel like justice has been served. Yeah, so they treated you like hell. Now they're going through hell with someone that they've met. Or someone that they jumped right into a new relationship with. So, Capricorn, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again... If you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings. If you like to try one of those, so Capricorn, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. And we will all get through this. So stay strong and take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get the readings, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend or a family member or a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. So take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are just general readings. They're not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.